What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, first thing is first, we need to rest, replenish our CP, but also let's take a look at some of the. Should we really be lighting we it? Have. A beef stew, heal HP after battle. Small. We've already had this. Grilled mushrooms. What else did we get that was new? Heal after battle. T. I wonder what T is compared to S. Probably trivial and then small. And ore up, rare ore rate up, small. Elemental attack up from the apple pie, pork bun. Attack up small, cuts duration but boosts effect. That sounds kind of dope. That is probably going to be what I run for that shitty dragon. Um, Let's go for rare ore up and we'll have Alfin make it. This is great. The taste and aroma will blow everyone away. I've seen this skit. Oh no, it's not the one. There's a different one. Uh, let's talk to Rimwell. Rimwell, mind if we chat a little? Hoodle, come here, sweetie. Hoo! Good boy. What are you doing? Uh, it's flying practice. Hoodle doesn't really like to leave my side, but if I don't make him spread those wings every now and then, they'll start to weaken. It's important he practices. Also, I'm pretty sure he put on some extra weight. Oh. Probably because everyone keeps sneaking him snacks when you're not looking. I knew it! I thought there was something fishy going on. Oh, it's really not good for birds to be overweight, you know? Oh, really? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Rinwell. You were feeding him too? You haven't been giving him anything he can't eat, have you? I'm pretty sure everything I've given him has been okay. Just to be sure, though, why don't you tell me what he can't eat? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Is something the matter? No, no, not at all. It's just, for a really long time, Hoodle was the only friend I had. So, on the one hand, it makes me really happy to see everyone be so accepting. But, on the other, it's a bit of an adjustment sharing him, you know? Every one of us can see that he's like family to you. I can promise no one's trying to ignore your feelings or anything. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I'll talk to the others about it later. I wanna know we what should really get some them. rest. Oh, he's an owl. Owls are carnivorous, I believe. Shion bot. Why did Shion get an emblem? When I talked to him well, increase attack, elemental attack when full. Sounds good. Uh, spear sweep. Sounds good. CP restoration restores CP at the end of battle while well, the effects from cooking are active. Definitely need to have that. And then faster AG recovery is obviously nice. Wasn't there? There's another faster AG. Uh, I don't need spread. I want to start keeping her away from more castery things. We're, we're gonna save. I think that sounds good because I'm almost always eating. Another day, another golf. And then I'm not sure if we ever explored this area, so let's run on over here real fast. It's like an ambush. He's still. I fully expected something to drop out of the air on top of me. I don't know if that's spawned yet. I think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. I'm this had sure better not are. all be for nothing. Somehow I doubt it'll be a wasted. Oh, is this? This looks like the quarry, the part that's locked up. You know, for a guard, you're not too good at tailing people. That's a brag, but this kind of thing is my specialty. So it really is you. When Law told us, I almost didn't believe it. I'm just surprised you could do two things at once, Law. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Ah! <gasps> <gasps> It looks like somebody needs to be put in their place. The one time I wanted to resolve things peacefully. What the hell? 
I thought you wanted us to leave. You'll never make me talk. Not helpful. In fact, you're pretty damn stubborn, you know that? This is gonna be awkward. Let go again. Thunder Blade! Didn't I get another art besides Dragon Swarm? How long is her Roshi East Plasma? Yeah, the Mega Sonic Thrust. Um, hard hitting piercing art that goes straight from behind. I need to check Mega to see if my soul is. I think those criticals were really So I'm getting four hits, so roughly for a hundred each. Oh god. We've all got enough on us. Yes, ma'am. You're mine! You're finished! I'll smash you! Watch this! I think it's just, I think that's hitting for about 500 damage. Why'd you heal me? To stop you dying? Oh, right. Did you just heal me? Yes. I need you, remember? Right. Oh, I wonder if Dolahim is watching, and this is like a test. Don't get in trouble again. Still smack the shit out of me through that. Time to shine! 
Oh, is that it? Just had to get her to like half. What's your deal, huh? Did Doalim put you up to this? You send us away and then come to finish us off? I don't buy it. I wonder. We came here following a black cat. What reason could you have for tagging along? Certainly not as a spy. You think she might have business with whoever called us out here? And even if she did, I highly doubt she was trying to keep us from harm. Am I wrong? Just who was it that led us out here? Answer me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold your horses. Who's this? I'm the one who summoned you all here. Well, maybe not all. Nice of you to drop by, Kisara. It's been a while. You two know each other? Hello, brother. So, you're the big heroes who liberated Calaglia and Cislodia, huh? It's an honor to meet you all. We didn't do it all on our own. We had a lot of support from others along the way. <laughs> so, wait. Kisara's your sister? Yep, that she is. The only family I have left. She was the dreamer of the two of us. Full of hope for the future of this realm. For both Danans and Renans alike. For siblings, you two don't exactly look like you're on the best of terms. That's because Migal here is a traitor. Isn't that right? <laughs> we were in the guard together. That is, until he was caught plotting to assassinate His Excellency Lord Dohalim. He took off after that. Is that true? You still believe that's what happened? I don't see why I shouldn't. Even if the truth slapped you in the face, you'd reject it. Same as back then. Heck, even now I'm still working to serve Lord Dohalim. More lies. You haven't changed. Before Lord Dohalim came to power, this country was ruled by an oppressive regime. We lost both of our parents to it. Back in those days, there were countless Danon children who had been orphaned by the Renan's tyranny, just like us. So we formed our own families among ourselves and helped each other out, surviving as best we could. And then Lord Dohalim came along. He abolished the oppression that kept us down, and the Danans were treated like people again. Menencia was reborn under his watch, and orphan children became a thing of the past. If so, then why did you betray him? I'm not done talking. I'm sure you know the Renans are trying to harvest astral energy from us Danans. Yes. Shion here told me that's how they decide their next sovereign. That's right. There are five types of astral energy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and light. All of them are contained within every living being. And that's the excuse they use to enslave us. You ever wondered what happens to living beings and other matter when they lose all their astral energy? They just die. Or so I thought. If only. See for yourselves. What the... Is that... Is that... Metal? Not metal, but... To be honest, your guess is as good as mine. I believe it's... Nothing. Matter with no physical form. Just a reminder of what was once there. They call it the hollowing. The hollowing? The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, but it makes the impacted area reflective. 
Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. Wh what That can't... Miguel... When were you going to... A sinister plot is unfolding as we speak. One Lord Dohalim is likely none the wiser to. It was blind luck I even found out about it. I tried to warn the man for all the good it did. Take a look at this. It's called the Fruit of Helgen. When a Danon eats this fruit, their body enters a heightened state, one that causes them to emit more astral energy than usual. Hold on. Could this be the reason Alfin and Law were feeling out of sorts last night after we ate with Dohalim? Sounds like you've been introduced to these things before. None too surprising, either. Most of the realm's food supply contains traces of the fruit. If that's what we ate, does that mean we'll become hollowed like your hand? You don't need to worry. You'd have to consume a large amount of the fruit regularly to exhibit any symptoms. But if that's the case, then why aren't I showing any symptoms? Why would you be inflicted and not me? If I had to guess, because the guards' meals are free of it. Otherwise, they'd risk Lord Dohalim noticing. I tried to warn him, but all it got me was locked up. They force-fed me the fruit the entire time I was in chains. It's a miracle I made it out. They eventually left me for dead, thinking I would succumb to my condition. But I survived and managed to escape. So the assassination plot. Just a cover-up? What? Eventually, I found others like me. And together, we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Gold Dust Cats. Our mission is to uncover the truth and warn Lord Dohalim. As you can see, though, we haven't gotten very far in that regard. But I'm hoping that's about to change now you're here. Which is all thanks to your faithful feline servant. It was a shot in the dark, but fortunately you recognized her for what she was, and Zare accomplished her mission with flying colors. So what's our plan of attack, boss? One of the Lord's routine inspections of the city. It's the only time commoners can talk to him face to face. That's the idea, anyway. His security is bound to be on high alert, but with you lot along, it's the best chance we're going to get to approach him. All right, we're in. But I have to know, how do you keep going with all you've been through? How have you not given up hope? Hey, someone has to fight for the future of the Danans here. The future? Lord Dohalim may be a wonderful person, but in the end, he's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's imperative Lord Dohalim sees the light. You really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith. Did not expect that. Hmm?
Right. <sighs> Score negative two. Do a quick loop around. There we go. Oh, new treats, thank God. I think this was just the room where the fight went down. I don't think there's any loot here. Alright. Can't sleep. And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. How's your shoulder? Huh? My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? Feels a little off, but ah, it's fine. I'll manage. Doesn't look like it's gotten much better. I'll give you some more healing. Should do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Xion. I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe. And now you've healed me up, too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? That's... kind of hard to explain. Just tell me. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the Blazing Sword anymore. Obviously. <laughs> but more important than that, I guess I just couldn't let you die. Honestly, I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? It's necessary, so we can fulfill our promise, right? R right Glad you remember that much. You okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well. doing.
I sent Kisara back to town under the cover of night. You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. Maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then, stay close and try not to wander off too far. Guess we're waiting on word from Magal for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddling my thumbs isn't my style. I'm going with you if you are. If I let you people go unsupervised, you'd probably wind up too far out for Magal's news to reach. Oh, come on. We're not children. <sighs> How about you make like the rest of the city and play nice for once? <laughs> Judging by the stench... I'd say the animals at the ranch are all grown now! Oh. Oh, beef. Mm. Okay, so I don't have Play fragment. I got that for her. That's not as good as whatever she has equipped now. Um, I think. Well, actually, damn! I just noticed we're like 27 minutes. Uh, where do we go? We turn to the scent. Okay. Well, we'll wrap up here. We're gonna go back to the scent and see what we can find out about this uh, this conspiracy. If we are supposed to just kind of run around, I think we might be in for a round two with the great dragon. Either way, y'all stay tuned and I'll have more coming your way soon.